Hey guys, Mateo here. I'm the Guild Master Past in Gaming, and today's video is going to be on Black Desert Online. Uh, this is going to be a video on gear enhancement. Uh, as opposed to what I did last year, which is an hour-long compendium of everything that goes into the game for this year, for as the game exists today, I'm going to be making these videos in each separate video so that you can on, you only see what you need to see. You can get in and get out. As always, though, everything that I cover today, or even things that I don't cover that are maybe interesting to this topic, will be in the description below in a timestamp. So you can go ahead and click on that and get to it and get out of here. So you don't even have to really listen to this intro if you don't want to. Um, so as you can see, there is a graphic up on the screen right now. This is everything that you're going to need to enhance your gear. And I'm going to talk about that one by one. So the first thing you need is uh, a piece of gear. And uh, for that graphic, if you wanted to go ahead and pause the video at that point and, you know, write it down or take a screenshot, do whatever you want to with that, go for it. So I'm going to talk about it in order. So the first thing you need is a piece of gear, right? And I've always recommended if you're a new player, you're going to create a season character. There's no reason not to. You're going to get a bunch of free gear. Um, you're going to get a bunch of free items, uh, a lot of some cash shop items. You're going to get a lot of things that really expedite you or catch you up to where the season characters are in the game. So you're not starting from the very beginning. You know, you're, you're going to get to that soft cap, which is where we call it, where you're decently geared. You can farm most places in the game. You can PvP against a lot of players that are in the same boat or, you know, they're not, you know, they haven't been playing for many years or whatnot. You're going to be in a good place. So make a season character. You're going to get gear just by questing in the game. It's called Naru Gear. It's, it's blue quality. And the way you're going to enhance that is you're going to get these things called Blackstones. There's Blackstone Armor and Blackstone Weapon. For the season character, you get a specific kind of enhancement item called black, beginner black stones, which are the same. There's one for armor, one for weapons. And the Tuvala gear, which it converts into, which you'll be able to convert your, your Naru gear into Tuvala gear at a certain point in um, your questing on your season character. There is a, an achievement here um, to turn your, uh, your Naru gear into Tuvala gear. There will be a point where you get to do that. And then you'll have this boss level boss gear equivalent or in-game equivalent uh, armor set and so the way that you enchant these is you're going to need these black stones and there's three primary ways to get black stones number one kill anything while you're questing farming grinding anything you kill they pop out black stones you're going to get a majority of your black stones from killing monsters you're just going to be littered all over your bank your warehouse you're going to get them uh number two you can buy them on the central market. If you hit escape, see this panel here, this this uh, little abacus, I think it's an abacus. Uh, you hit that, it's called central market, and then you can buy them. You can just type here in the item name, Blackstone. Hit enter, and there they are. There are 10,000 Blackstone weapons there. So these are for items that are between, uh, that are normal items, like uh, just start enhancing it. Enhancement goes from one to 15. And then there's an extended table, 16 to 20 is called Pry, Duo, Pry, Pet, and Pen. So 16 is Pry, 17 is Duo, so on and so forth. So these normal black stones are for 1 to 15. These concentrated magical black stones are for 16 to 20 on normal gear. And you can outright uh, buy them. You can also, there's different things that you can get, different items that you're going to get in your bank. I'm going to pull my bank up real quick. My central market warehouse and there's lots of different items i think i sold all of them no i didn't so you get these scrolls um typically when you're level 50 and higher you're going to get these items and they have a chance to give you black stones as well when you when you kill um the monster that the monster you the boss you summon drops the black stones the items from the scrolls or from these summonable items are our fixed table but the loot table of the boss has black stones on it as well now, so those are another good source of black stones um, for you now the next item that you're going to need to enhance and this is part of the negative part of enhancement is uh, memory fragments memory fragments I'm gonna mouse over the one that's in my back here so you can see it, it says memory fragment you can pause the video and, and read it um, it's it's used to we're not going to talk about skill add-ons, but it restores your item's max durability. Now, what happens when you fail enhancement is your weapons 
where your item's max durability decreases. So you see these two items have 100 durability. Uh, where is my shield at? It has 100. Something in here is low. So you see the durability on these gloves. You see this little red bar at the bottom of the item's tooltip. It's uh, 50 out of 100. That means that I have failed. Uh, I failed quite a bit to get that to pin, which is the final level, to get it to plus 20. And so its max durability is low. When it gets to zero, I won't be able to equip it or use it. It's broken. And so the only way to increase it is to come to a blacksmith, which I'm standing in front of right now. A uh, default command interact with an NPC is R. Hit R, and I'm going to click on repair right here. And then I'm going to click on repair max durability. And then it's going to bring up the item. See, here are the items. Here's that, that pair of gloves that's missing 50 durability. I click it to unequip it, and then it goes up in here. And then I click the memory fragment, and then there it is. Now I can choose to use Artisan's Memory, which is a cash shop item that increases the potency of my memory fragment by five. Now, if I don't use it, it's only going to restore one durability when I click the button. If I use an Artisan's Fragment, it's going to restore five durability. And I can keep doing that. Another way to restore maximum durability if you don't want to do the memory fragment way is you buy a replica of the item. You can use a replica of the item and repair it with that to also restore some of its max durability. Now specifically here, because I'm at a blacksmith, this is also where you're going to buy backup Tavala gear to do this. So Tavala ore you're going to get from killing monsters, same way you get the black stones and everything. The, the specific items that you need to enhance your Tavala gear is going to come the same way. There's also daily and weekly quests that also reward you these items. There's also um, the same summoning scroll I showed you a little bit earlier. Uh, they're called Rift's Echo. They specifically are only usable on the season server and they spawn a boss and they give you Tuvala um, accessories and Tuvala enhancement stuff the same way that the those scrolls or the normal summonable items give you the normal enhancement gear or enhancement items. And so you can come to the blacksmith, hit R, hit exchange, and now you can buy Tavala gear. So I can buy a pair of Tavala gloves and then go to repair, go to repair max durability. And now I can use this extra pair of Tavala gloves to repair my item instead of the memory fragments. Maybe I want to sell the memory fragments. There's no gold value to, or there's no silver value or currency value to uh, the Tavala gear, but there is currency value to the memory fragments. I can sell those on the central market, make some money. Uh, so to save my memory fragments, I can use the Tavala ore to buy replicas of the item, and then I can repair it this way too. And so that restored 10 of my maximum durability. So five pair of gloves would get me back to 100%. So that's how you would get your max durability up if you fail the item a lot. Now, I'm actually going to uh, walk you through getting into the enhancement screen and then walk you through some enhancements and then we'll move on to a couple other things. So to enhance your gear, you're going to need to talk to the Black Spirit. You don't need to, but that's one of the ways. So the default command to that is comma. So you can just use press the command on your keyboard and you will pull up the Black Spirit and you will hit this button here called enhancement. The default command for enhancement is one, so I can just press one on my keyboard. I don't have to use my mouse if I don't want to. And here is the enhancement window. So this is the enhancement window. This is my bag. My bag up here. Well, you know, I guess you don't need to see my weight and everything. So here's the enhancement window. And so this, this is everything I have that can be enhanced, right? So what I would do is I would put this up here. And you see it shows you how much max durability you will lose if you fail it. So it's never, it's never going to be, I'm not going to say never, but it's typically not going to be hidden from you what your success chance is, what your you know, failure chance, how much durability you're going to lose, et cetera, et cetera. It even tells you what happens when you fail. So it says that your enhancement level may decrease when attempt fails. Now that only happens for um, items that are hi highly enhanced. The stakes get higher the higher your gear gets. So it, at some point, it, the enhancement chance, with no matter what, you put into it, it's going to be super, super low to get it to the next level. That's just the trade-off. The, the higher your level is, the more it's going to cost you, the more attempts it's going to take you to get, on average, to get to the next level. Now, you could get lucky and just, when you know, get 3% chance, no problem. Just hit the button, and we call that, you know, you know one tapping a, a high-level enhancement. There are some people that one-tap pins, even though they only have a 2 or 3% chance of success. Hate those people. We will, we will learn to hate those people.
But uh, going back to that, so as you fail, but there's a there's a mechanic for this. As you fail, now I'm going to go back into it. You can also you can't see it because my webcam's in the way, but there is a little a kind of a spiral icon right next to your challenge button in the lower right hand corner of your screen. That if you click on that, it will also bring up the black spirit. You go into enhancement. So as you notice, there's this little section here called enhancement chance. As you fail to enhance something, I'm going to go ahead. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing. I'm wasting some time filled black stones just for you guys. As you fail the enhancement, I know this is going to fail. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to. I need to. I'll buy a backup. I'll do that. I'll I'll buy a backup. So, what will happen here is when you go to enhance. At first, it's going to be really easy. It's going to be near 100 percent. That actually is 100 percent. So I'm going to enhance it, and it goes up. It's plus one, plus two, plus three. We're going to keep going until it's not 100 percent. Okay, now it's plus five. Now there is a chance to fail. Now, if you notice, my enhancement chance is still plus one. I have a permanent plus one on my account on this account um, because of its progression through the adventure book. There are some permanent enhancement chances, bonuses that you can get on your account, and that'll be covered in a different video. So. I'm going to go into I fail. Yep, now you see that? Now, so now I'm at plus two. I have gained an enhancement chance. And the chance went from what? 71.8 to 73.2. So every time I fail, I'm going to gain an enhancement chance. And it's going to get easier to enhance the item. To a point. So let's see if this fails again. Oh, it succeeded. Now it's at 71.4. Now it's at 66%. Now I failed. Now it's at 72%. Now it's at 73%. And then it succeeds. And so on and so forth, guys. So that's the way it goes. Now I've lost a little bit of, uh, of max durability from the failures. It's at 85. And I will keep doing this until it goes to 15. And then pry, duo, try, tet, and uh, pin. But here, here's the thing. Once you get to uh, duo, pry is the, there's a, another ceiling. So it won't, go, it won't go back down to 1 to 15. Once you cross over into Pry, there's a different system for enhancement. It's the same window, but it's a different, different gamble. Now, my item has a chance to lose an enhancement level when the attempt fails. So if I fail on this Tet pair of gloves that I'm trying to get to pin, which is why it was at 50% when we first started the video, is uh, it will go back down to Try. Then I'll have to get back to Tet, or it could go down to do. It could go all the way back down to Pry, honestly. And then I'd have to make my way back up to where I am right now, which is Tet, which is plus 19, and then try to get it to pin again. Now I could stop it from getting to from decreasing by using what's called crown stones. You're going to get a number of crown stones uh, from doing events in the game. Uh, you're going to get you're going to get crown stones from your login rewards. You're going to get crown stones from the Black Spirit Adventure that was covered in the uh, last season season guide video I made. Uh, there's a lot of ways to get crons. You can buy them outright from the blacksmith here, but they're very expensive. If you buy them straight from the blacksmith, they are two million a piece. That's that is very expensive. Well, depend depending on how you value getting your item to pin or not having it lose an enhancement level, that might be worth it to you. But they're very expensive and they're very and they're they're scarce unless you're a spender. Spenders can uh, hit F3, come into here. And then go out to apparel and then go to outfits now if you're a spender what spenders like to do is they buy outfits and you can actually take your outfit and i'll go into pearl because i have another outfit in here and if you see that is see that purple text that says extraction available you can actually destroy it so you can spend 20 30 bucks on an outfit and then destroy it and get a bunch of crown stones so there is a monetary value the crown stones like you can do it in your you know do the math in your head what the conversion is two million gold a crown stone or two million silver excuse me a crown stone getting 141 from taking an armor piece or a costume piece and extracting it destroying it or melt melting it is the term for it so you know you, you get you get what about you get 141 every time you melt a piece and so you can get a few hundred uh from melting an outfit so again, it's, it's, it's very expensive. But what a lot of people are going to tell you is don't use Cronstones on this season gear, Tavala gear.
use it on the most advanced gear which is going to be your black star or for pin pin only attempts on um your boss gear so do not use it prior so again for this glove here i could take this glove all the way to tech and then if this one fails i just try this one i always have a backup here so if i get frustrated and i want to stop and i don't feel like going or i'm out of out of silver and i'm out of materials i have another pair to wear while i'm working on enhancing the other one that's a that's a good way to go about it i'm not going to waste my cron stones on Vala gear you can if that's all you have if you're a brand new player you only have one character go for it it's going to make your account better but since this is just an alternate character for me and i would rather use those crown stones on uh, my main character this is the method that i'm going to be using to get all of these pieces of gear to end now caveat um accessories accessories are destroyed during enhancement they are destroyed during enhancement if the enhancement fails they don't go down levels they get destroyed now that's if you don't have crown stones if you have crown stones let's see if i click the use crown stones button i don't have an extra one but uh i think mean, I'll, I'll buy an extra one need to uh, need to build one anyway i buy one didn't buy there we go so going to go here into uh, enhancement and I'm gonna put the earrings in there and see the item will be destroyed when enhancement fails now if I use crown stones the enhancement level decreases so the the level of failure is one level higher for accessories whereas your gear goes down a level but can't be destroyed your accessory can be destroyed and no matter if you use crown stones or not it is it just saves the item from being destroyed it's, it's still going to go down a level regardless of success or failure so uh, your accessories are the most flimsy thing in the world in terms of getting them to pin. Uh, in terms of uh, attack power, in terms of your AP, your necklace, your your weapons, and your necklace are, are the most important things you can you can upgrade. Um, followed followed by your rings. In terms of in terms of aggregate AP that's on the item. In terms of your rings, your necklace, and your weapons. Uh, your weapons depend no matter whether you're awakening or or in succession uh, you take some of the AP I want to say it's 30 percent from both weapons from your other weapon so if you're awakening it's your main weapon but you get 30 percent of the AP from your main hand and if you're succession you use your main hand but you get 30 percent of the AP from your uh, your offhand so these are your weapons necklace rings are the most important things in terms of getting attack power a lot of grinding spots here in the world uh, require attack power they're based on attack power so like this it says see this it says optimal attack power is 90 to 110 uh, optimal attack power is 100 to 180 this one recommends at least 240 attack power and that's to that's the attack power you need to reasonably kill the monsters and if you can one shot or one combo the monsters um, you don't really need your DP to be maxed out your defense power though for some higher end spots you just getting clipped is really going to hurt so like stars end over here or stars end up here like you really want your defense power to be as high as possible for places like that um but otherwise ap is ap is typically a little bit more important than the uh, dp but you're going to get your dp your dp scales a lot higher faster than your ap anyway because you're you're going to be sitting here playing pin roulette with your accessories to get any significant amount of of ap after your weapons are maxed out um, so a couple of things, another hotkey, what I like to do, you can just click on the enhancement item in your bag. You don't have to click on the black, the black spirit or anything. You can just click straight on the item and the menu will pop up the appropriate menu. Uh, another thing, enhancement chances. So you're going to get a bunch of these as you're questing on your season character. And this is one of the reasons I recommend you create a season character for your first character. Because these are a bunch of scrolls that give you enhancement chance so you saw i failed a bunch of times and my success chance went up you can just use these outright to gain enhancement chance to guarantee the success of your items up to a point or increase the success rate of your items up to a point um there there will be a guide in the description on what kind of 
know what how many how much enhancement chance you want to use per ranking per level or for what item you're trying to enhance that will be included i will be doing a video on that as well uh with some caveats uh but the way you get these if it's not a season character let's say you're returning to the game you have an old character i still recommend you make a season character even if you're returning and you're just old and you're you're not past this point um but what you would do is so let's say i'm failing a bunch so I, you saw I failed a couple times. Let's say I failed 20 times. So I have successfully, I have spectacularly failed 20 times. I'm going to come to the shop here, and I'm going to buy a blacksmith secret book, and this will allow me to extract the enhancement chance off of this character, and it and put it on a scroll. So it will become one of the scrolls. And then, so let's say I failed a bunch on another character, but I want to enhance something on this character. I turn, take it. Find the blacksmith secret, put it, put the enhancement chance into the scroll, and now I can give the scroll to this character, so this character can do the enhancement. There's also a quest you're going to get through the Black Spirit called Natter's Band. It's a level 53 quest that's going to take you to, I believe it's either 53 or 56. Don't quote me on it. It's going to take you to uh, Tariff, which is the town in Medea, and it's going to give you this thing called the Natter's Band. Adiris, that uh, whatever matters ban what it will do is it will take the enhancement chance off of another character the same way you would do with the scroll and it's going to put it in here and then you click this button to, to swap them you can swap your enhancement chance between this and whatever you have and then you can buy additional ones with uh real life currency about nine bucks to buy to buy extra ones um, but you can save your enhancement chance from your other characters. So if I go in here, I can see this little icon here on the right shows me what the enhancement is for my other character. So I have uh, 45 on my my hash. I have 111. This is I'm trying to get pinned Black Star on my main, which is my Nova, not my Nova Guardian right now. So I have 110 enhancement chance over here. So I could put that in Natter's Band and move it to a different character if I wanted to enhance something else. Obviously, this is where I want my enhancements. To, they're exactly where they want it to. But I could move, technically move this 45 off of my hash and then move it over here to my Nova if I really wanted the the, the extra push to get these things to uh, pin. But I'm, I'm pretty good. I have enough scrolls. I'm, I'm good to go in that regard. But if I needed to, I could, I could do that. But that's all, guys. That's everything in a nutshell. That is enhancement. Again, uh, there will be a guide in the description. Uh, on fail stacks, that's what we call enhancement chain, fail stacks. On how many fail stacks you need for, you know, pen, for tet, for try, how many fail stacks you do. And the different techniques to get your gear successfully to pen. Because that's what I'm doing right now. My gear is mostly tet. Got a couple of tries. Uh, we're, we're, doing the, we're doing the pen attempts today. So uh, that's all. Uh, until next time, I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.